It's your old buddy Microchip here playing Trains 2019 Platinum Edition. And this is CNO Hinton Division, Episode 6. Lucky number 6. You gotta love it, right? This is right where we left off on Episode 6. Uh, Thomas was uh, shunting all the cars that came off of our uh, classification track. Uh, if that's what we want to call it, that's what I'm calling it. Uh, I'm talking about uh, these tracks right here. See, these are still on the classification tracks, uh, or should, maybe I should say reclassification tracks, whatevs, right? So uh, he pulled all these off, and now we are going to have to put them on the tracks uh, on which they belong. Now, this car right here at the end uh, is going to Beckley. Yeah, that's an off-map thing uh, that we got going there. Uh, and let's come over here. It's Beckley, West Virginia, and then these two in front of it are going to Avis, and Avis is track, I want to say, six. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, I am. Okay, yeah. I'm looking at my spreadsheet, d desperately trying to find uh, where that is to see if I'm right or not, but but I, I am correct. Uh, all right, so we're going to put uh, this one first, because it's going to Beckley. Uh, we're going we're gonna to shove it on the uh, track that takes us over to the Avis yard because this one, our going out yard, our uh, shipping it out to a uh, off map, uh, those uh, ready tracks are out in uh, Avis on the Avis yard. Uh, so we're going to set that out there. Uh, but you can see here, now we got these two here from Avis. Then we got Raynell, Clifton, Forge. Those are all off map. And then we got another little bunch for Avis. And then we got Raynell, Beckley, Clinton, Forge, Raynell. Then we got a few for Hinton. Which is in uh, you know this uh, actually it's in this yard, uh, and then we got some more for Beckley. Okay, so uh, we are working with Thomas here. Let me uh, there we go. Zip all the way to the front here. Where you at, Thomas? There you are, my buddy. Okay, so he's gonna back this up. Uh, it is back up, right? I'm not even gonna go into how I can't remember this. Let's see. But back it up. Yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. So he's going to back this whole cut up. And while he's backing up, we are going to come over here. And we're going to see if this... Usually it is, yeah. Okay, yeah. So that uh, switch is set correctly. Now, uh, he's pulling with his 244 tonners there. The whole cut of where it has to go. Now, the question is... Uh, 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 uh. That one all the way on the end is going off map to Beckley, West Virginia. Uh, so, where are we, we going to put it? We could start sticking them here, right? Could, but since I got to go over, we might as well. Yeah, see, we can't really do that, though. I was going to say we could stick them over on this track, but we really don't have to go all the way back to pull them back. So, maybe we'll just stick them on this, uh, on this track right here temporarily uh, on this track until uh, we get uh, all these Avis and Hinton cards uh, cars out of the way and put them on the proper track. So that's 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 what I'm going to do. And then we'll back up the whole rest of the cut for all the off-map off, uh, off map cars that we have, and we'll get them off uh, and on their way to Avis Yard all at the same time instead of parsing them out one at a time. If none of that makes sense to you, well, this just may not be the channel for you if that upsets you. I'm sorry. All right. So. Lay off on the throttle there a little bit. Give it a little auto brake. There we go. Okay, so we're going to have go this way. Uh, no. What the? <laughs> Why did it jump way over there? No, no, I was trying to throw this switch right here, and it jumped me a mile away. Okay, so we're going to go there, and keep that straight, keep that straight, yeah. And yes, this one looks like it's wrong, it is. Uh, this is what we're looking to get, to track six. So we could just throw them right here temporarily onto this track. Now, if we keep it straight here, where is this going to end us up? Well, eventually, we're going to hit this train engine here, which is uh, getting water. Oh, and by the way, remember last time we were filling these up, and I was like, yeah, this is probably the place to go water. Apparently, they fill them at the tenders. Yeah, someone was telling me that. Uh, and uh, I looked it up, and they do fill it at the tenders. My question is, is, how does it get up into the boiler? Is there a pipe or something? 
Is that what that is? Yeah, I don't know. It's it's weird, but uh, they fill them at the tender. Okay. Oh, except that's probably on the wrong thing there. Okay. So, uh, are we going to have enough room to put them there? Of course, I could put them onto a different track, could I not? Uh, I could get them onto this track instead, and then that's going to miss everybody, right? Yeah, that's going to miss everybody. Yeah, and then we'll have it go this way and then that way. I'm probably being way too cautious right now. There's no way it's going to be that long. Uh, but, you know, that's how I'm going to roll. All right, so we're going to go on here now, and let's uh, push this forward. The old cattle car carrying the cattle. There we go. Yeah, so that one, as you can see at the top here in my little uh, car tagger, like I said before, is going to Beckley, West Virginia. That is not on this map. Then we'll stick these two cars on track six. And these three are going to Raynell, West Virginia. These are all going to Clinton Forge, Virginia. Not West Virginia, but Virginia. Uh, then we stick some more cars on Avis on track six. Raynell, West Virginia. Beckley, West Virginia, Clinton Forge, Virginia. Another one for Raynell. Then Hinton. These are going to come back, and they're going to go on track one, which is right uh, right here. And then uh, Kurtzville, that's West Virginia. And then the last few are all going to Beckley. Look at that. I can read. <laughs> that's nice. It's also nice, as I've said many times before, but I love to reiterate it, and that is it's nice not having to have these on a separate sheet of paper or something uh, where I can put them all right in the game using Cartagger. It's just very, very convenient. It's basically a switch list for me. Um, so uh, it's it's nice. All right. Feels like I've been playing now for 30 seconds. I look over at the time, and we're at 7 minutes and 8 seconds. My guesstimation was way off. All righty. So we're backing this up. Where are we going to back it up to? Just past track six. Uh, where's track six? This is track seven right here. So that's got to be track six right here, right? Yes, it is. So we'll back it up until it clears that uh, switch stand right there. Or I could do the frogs. Well, whatever it is, I'm going to slow it down because we are going too fast right now. Okay. Let's stop it right there. That's enough clearance. We have clearance, Clarence. If you don't know what movie I'm talking about, it's all right. So uh, we're going to apply the handbrake. Yeah. Decouple. It's going to forget that I was operating this train, but I will remind it. Uh, and then we are going to, uh, back it up. There we go. We got some flat cars here. These are Chesapeake and Ohio ones too, aren't they? Yes, they are. That's sweet. All right. And a lower speed because these last two are going to Avis. Okay, we'll stop it right. No, we gotta wait till we clear. Wait till we clear. Okay, here we go. And then we'll put these in until, well, we can still have them clear this frog right here, right? This frog seems awfully close, though. Look at that. Yikes. Yeah, that seems kind of close. We're gonna get a little bit, little bit further than the frog. Technically, this frog is for this track going this way. But, uh, you know, I'm kind of frog heavy. I kind of rely on the frogs. I like to do that. All right. So it's only the first two flat cars. And then the other three, as you can see here, are going to Raynell, West Virginia. Mountain Mama. Take me home or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, so we're going to back them up at least until they are even with this stock car right here. Give us a little breathing room.
we go. And a little bit further. And stop it right there. I'm vocalizing the hand signals uh, of the uh, conductor or the yard crew, however you want to, whatever you want to believe. All right, so we will apply the handbrake. We'll go forward. And I forgot who I am again. There we are. All right, so now these three. Whoops, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, I just banged into it. Hopefully it didn't couple. I don't think it did. There we go. It did not. All right. So now we got these Raynells, the Clinton Forges, all the way up. I think are these flat cars? I'm not sure. Uh, but all the Western Pacific box cars are all going to go off map two. They're all going to Clinton, Clinton Forge, Virginia. Ready. And. Come on, stop. Okay, uh, I should let the car tag around here. All right, so now <clears throat> this is Avis Ball Lumber Company. Well, look at that. It's flat cars with lumber on them. That would make sense if they're going to the lumber company, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. All right. So we're going to shove these a bit further down the track. I got them going that way, yeah. Okay. So these three flat cars and all the boss cars behind them. And you notice that they're all empty all the way down the line. We offloaded them here. Some of these, I, th I think most of these went to uh, the Hinton... Uh, Freight yard, or the Hinton, not freight yard, but freight platform. They were unloaded there. Those guys up there on the platform are busy. They've been very busy since I started playing this game. Through all the episodes. All right. Let's keep it below. 35% going to keep it below 5 mile an hour? I hope so. Looks good so far. And it looks like, yeah. Ho, 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 ho. What happened? <laughs> wow. We phased right through it. What the? <laughs> what happened? How come it didn't hit? It's like it's not there or something. <laughs> okay. Uh, is it going onto the wrong track? I think that's what it is, isn't it? No, it's not. Or maybe it is. Yeah, I think this switch is set wrong. Okay, uh, that is an unusual sight right there. That's that's definitely going to be my uh, my my uh, what's my call my uh, thumbnail. All right. So now um, now I like I said I'm not a real railroader, um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, this doesn't happen in real railroads. <laughs> or one car kind of phases its way through the next. It's because I had this one set wrong here, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. The question is, can I put it back the other way, or is it going to derail? Oh, boy. Tensions run high. Okay. Okay, I can't. I can't bump that back. I could bring another engine up this way, uh, or uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put you guys on pause. I'm going to go into the uh, editor mode, and I'm going to fix it that way. Is that cheating? Yes. So... Everyone, close your eyes. Uh, look at something else. Otherwise, the magic of this episode will be gone. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes now. I fixed it. Yes, siri, Bob, I did. Okay, so uh, I'm noticing here I got an overflow track, but it's not going to make a difference. I was going to switch this one, but now it's too close. It's following the switch right now, so uh, forget it. Just forget it. Now, we will continue to back this up. No, so we got to go forward, don't we? Yeah. Here we go. 
Yeah, that was the wrong way. Bring it this way. You can do it. There he goes. Okay, yeah. I did it the wrong way, but I caught that I did it the wrong way before it started actually moving the wrong way. Well, a little. Almost. Whatever. Yeah, so this switch was set wrong, uh, and therefore it thought it was on this little track right here, which is why it was phasing through, because the, the game is saying, oh, it's on this track, so this one can go by without hitting anything. At least that's what I'm hoping. Let's see what we get now. Oh, I'm praying for some contact here. Yeah, okay. Okay, for some reason it set the, the thing back to zero. I did not do that. I did not ask for an emergency stop. It did that on its own. Okay, so now, now we can push this back this way. It's going to go onto this track just to make sure, again, I'm doing this right, right? Yeah, put, should have put them on the overflow track, which is this one right here, but that's okay. Not to make, make that big of a difference. Uh, now we're going to back these up all the way uh, until all these box cars are clear of the uh, of this switch right here. Because these next set, I did say those were going to Avis, right? Let's, uh, I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know. That whole one car phasing through the other was, uh, it threw me off. Okay, so here we are. Yeah, this is the Avis one. Uh, so we're going to go until this box car here covers that switch stand, uh, or passes, I should say, that switch stand that I had back there. All righty. Let's go back past all these Western Pacifics. Yeah. Now, where, where are we? There we are. Right there. So we should be right here. We can slow it down now. Okay. And we'll stop it right there. All righty. Then we're going to apply the handbrake. Oh, don't, don't click on the stand, you moron. All right, so there we go. Uh, now we're going to uh, back it up. Don't have to go too fast because we're pretty close to where we need to back up to. Just got to clear this point right here. Then all four of these, as you can see there, in the upper left-hand corner, are all going to Avis Ball Lumber Company. Therefore, they're all going on track six. We are setting these trains up. Make sure it's a good country mile away from the switch before that little lock comes off. Alrighty. And here we go. Apply some throttle. Everything should be set properly. See the 44 tonner uh, exhaust all the way down there? See it? They're pushing hard. They got a couple of little tiny corners to go around, and that can be really hard for the uh, the flange starts resting up against the uh, against the rail while it's going around corners and stuff. Creates friction, is what it does. That makes it harder to push. All right, here we go. And it set it back to zero again. Not going to get mad. It's just a game. <laughs> it's like as soon as the contact is made, the engineer just throws it, throws the throttle uh, into neutral and turns on every brake in the train. Not sure why it does that. Then again, I'm not a computer programmer, so I don't know. Computer programmer. Of course, I'm not a computer program. Okay. These forward now, just past the edge of this box car right here should be good. 
lay off on the throttle a little bit. Actually be applying, well, yeah, you would be laying on the throttle and applying brake. It would be auto brake at this point. And a little bit of Indy too, I guess. There we go. All right. Then we're going to wait till that comes to a stop. There we go. Apply the handbrake. There we go. Now these New York, are these New Yorkers? Yeah, New York Centrals are going to rain L. Uh, so now we got to pull these forward. Stick them on that other track. No, 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 no. There you go. There you go. Okay, so uh, this one's going to rain L. This one's going to rain L. Beckley, Clinton Forge, rain L. And then we got the Hinton Block Company. And it's just the first three. Right? Yeah. Hinton Block Company is just the first three. All right. Back over here. Got to back it up a country mile before it registers. There we go. Nice squeal of the brakes there. Here we go. We're going to couple these up with this one. Cut those lumber cars out of the middle. See now, down here in the corner again, it forgot what train I was controlling, and it stopped it. <laughs> Whatevs, computer. I just got to do a little click to get you to go to the right spot, so. All right. So we want to get this uh, two boxcars plus the hopper plus this boxcar, which I believe is a nickel plate. Can't read it from here, and then that's definitely a Western Pacific. Past this switch stand right there. Okay. That'll do. That'll do just fine. Okay. Look at that. we go now these have to go to Hinton which is track one so we are gonna nope we're gonna floor it this way there we go like how this box car says right here overnight freight I don't know how many days it sat there before I uh, actually delivered it <laughs> not exactly over well they didn't say over which night most of the time when you see overnight I, I assume they mean the, the next day it's there right um, I failed. I failed in that. I I definitely failed in that task. But I I just don't really care either. Okay, so three of them, three of them are going on to track one. There we go. break here. And clear. This one, we're definitely going to back up to the frogs. Oh, hi. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Okay. There we go. Definitely back to one of the frogs. Now, I have this set right, right? Did I just do it? I mean, I just did it. Yeah, there it is. Some throttle, get her moving. 
course, the other thing I, I, I mentioned this before, but I, I just I love this. I love to mention this kind of things. Uh, but you could also you you can say obviously one two three. So it's the first three. Or you could say it's these car numbers. You see, it even knows the car numbers. And that car that's last in line is one six six. What is it up there? One six 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 six. If you look closely on this car, there it is. One six 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 six. The next one down is twenty one six six eight, which is that one right there. That is really cool. That it actually can read the car numbers. So you can tell which ones are supposed to be there and which ones aren't. Or you could just count to three. I just think it's cool that the numbers are there and the, that the uh, car tagger can read them. All right. So now we got those three set out on the correct track as we build that train. That's going to be a uh, Graham. Graham's going to move those over there. Go. Now, all the rest of these are all going off map. So we're done shunting in this yard. Uh, we're going to move it over to the next yard. So we're going to do uh, this first. Yep. We're going to go back and pick up all those cars that we dropped off over on the other side. There we go. it the other way. Wait for it to come to a stop. And get some. Alright, so now are these switches set right? That one is set right. This one is set right. That one is set right. Okay. I'm going to come back here and grab all these cars up. Okay, I'm, I'm just looking at this Avis track. I thought, I could say, didn't I put some other ones on? I did. I did put two other cars on. I just couldn't see them past the lumber cars. Uh, when I was looking back here, I was <clears throat> I kind of saw that. I was like, were there other cars? But there are. Okay. Let's grab a ride on this flat car. contact and then we'll charge line everything in just a matters of a few milliseconds because I don't go through simulating charging the lines or anything here we go all right let's back this on out of here I'm just gonna double check to make sure I'm doing this right well first I'm gonna go up to uh back up here to the 44 tonners. Now, all these should be going off map. We got the Raynells, the Clinton Forges, the Raynells, Clinton Forge, Raynell, Kurtzville, and Beckley. Wasn't there a Beckley? Oh, there is a Beckley. I thought I left the last Beckley on this stock car. Let's go to Beckley. All right. So now we're going to go down here and get a little drink. Uh, that was tasty, wasn't it? And then we're going to have to switch the train over on the use the crossover track here to get on all the way over to the mainline track right here. Actually, these are both mainline tracks. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's let's stay down here. It's, it'll be here shortly. I'm in no hurry. I've got all day to do this. Although after I'm recording this while it's uploading onto YouTube, I'm gonna exercise. Hitting the bike today, people. Why do you care? You don't. You don't care that I'm going to exercise, but I thought I'd throw it out there. Share a little personal item. All right. I noticed we're coming up on the 30-minute mark, and that leads me to believe that this might be an all-Thomas episode. Could be. That bothers you. Or if the little cheat I did earlier bothers you. This may not be the channel for you. Ah, uh, those beautiful 44 tonners.
Uh oh. Is this switch not set right? It's not. What's with me and the switches today? You see the cars popping over? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not good. And basically, that's what they would They wouldn't pop over as dramatic as they are right there. Uh, oh, you know, I got to check is uh, that switch isn't. Uh, oh, no, it's on the other track. Okay. <laughs> I'm starting to doubt myself. All right. Uh, they wouldn't normally pop over. But they, they would just bang through. Uh, and they would force that. It would, you know, keep bouncing back, especially if it's spring loaded. But uh, yeah, it's like I've never played this game before. All right, here we go. Dragging them out. It's saying every time it one pops over, it says excessive curve speed. Yeah, because because I had the track set incorrectly. I'll go back and watch this video myself. Uh, and as I'm doing those kind of things, I'll be screaming at myself. You didn't set the uh, switch, dummy. You didn't set the switch, right? There we go. Alrighty. Now, there's no sense in throwing that one now. In fact, there's no sense in waiting until it clears the switch. You blew that one. No, I it did anyway, but Okay. I forget how many percentage we can set this at to get it to go to 20. I thought it was like 80. We'll set it at 80 and see what we get. Okay. So now what we got to do is we got to put these on to Beckley, right? That's where this first car is going is Beckley. Uh, so now I want to run down here to the other side. Let's make sure all, all the points are set. Of course, I don't know why I bother going down there. You don't want to do it wrong anyway. All right, so we're going to come down here. Yeah, yeah, there's no switches all the way up to here. That one is correct. Yes. Yes. We're going to stay on the right track here. Yep. That one's wrong. Now it's right. That one's wrong. Now it's right. Go across here. Now, Beckley. Beckley, West Virginia is um let's see it is uh track eight in this yard over here uh so it's track eight so we're gonna have to throw him over here and he'll come back this way right because he's coming yeah okay i <laughs> like really second guess myself now but goes over this way yeah no that's one there we go two that's right three four five six seven and eight. Now, why does it do that? Why would I want to be on that right there? I wouldn't. Okay, so we'll do it again. Seven and then eight. There we go. So there, there's already a whole bunch of stock cars uh, on this track waiting to go to uh, Beckley, West Virginia. Now, normally I would hit two and j fly back there automatically, but now i got to run back here because it does that weird thing. All right, here we are now. We're at 12 miles an hour. Let's go on this side so we can uh, see the yard when we go through. We'll go below the uh, telephone wires. So they're not going up our nose as we go by. That's, that's a whole lot of coal cars right there. A lot of got some uh, CNO, Chesapeake and Ohio's. We got some Baltimore and Ohio's. Those are cool, but I like modern ones better. I don't know why. I just like the modern coal hoppers better. They look better. All right, he's got up to 17 miles an hour, 18. If he goes over, we'll, uh, we'll dial it back a little bit. We'll ease up on the throttle. There we go. Now he's even. No, 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 no. Let's dial back. There we go. 75. A little bit of slack now causes it to drop pretty quick, but looks like we're going to... We're going back up. I think that's it. I think 75 is the magic number. 
All right. Again, there's the roundhouse. If you haven't seen my other episodes, we, we played around with that just a tiny bit amount. And then this shed right here is where we refit, uh, refurbish the uh, cabooses when they come back. Those two caboose that are on the outside there are ones that are ready to be placed onto an outgoing train. And then there are some. Barely see it right there, right there. Barely see. I think there's two of them inside right now that are currently being worked on by the maintenance crews in there. And now I'm starting to think, did I leave the caboose on the end of the passenger train, which I should not have done? It should have been brought in. Uh, we'll go by it right here. We'll be able to see. Will it be not there and I'm going to feel good about myself? Or will it be there like a shiny example of the errors of my ways? I'm thinking it's going to be there. That's right. We'll have Graham. When it's his turn again, we'll have Graham go down there, grab it, and uh, pull it. Yeah, yeah, I can see it from here. It's still on there. It should have been pulled off. Passenger cars can be serviced right there. But the uh, caboose, I want to bring over to the caboose shop. That big old water tower on this end. Yep, there's the caboose. Now those cars you can see are Norfolk and Western. Uh, didn't look too hard. Couldn't find any Chesapeake and Ohio's. Uh, I'm not sure they did passenger service, to tell the truth. Uh, but I like the way those look. That's why I picked those. All right, now we're going to jostle back to this side. We do have a uh, crossing track up here. It's a public road. It's not a service road. Well, no, nah, it's a public road because it's it's going across and it's uh, servicing those industries over there. You know, the trucks and whatnot can get down in there. And plus, these to me look like houses here on the right. So it's definitely a public road. I forgot these houses were here. I see the crossing. Start the bell. I can't hear the bell. Maybe I can hear the crossing bell. I can also hear the horn. Train whistle. go then we're going to slow this down uh, on these uh crossover tracks you really should slow it down okay so it's only this last stock car that's going to beckley evidently there's a lot of uh cattle cattle farms in uh beckley west virginia Go. Why, why do I feel like that one's not set right? I know it is because it's green. But. There we go. Okay. Look at this beautiful steam engine, huh? Just waiting for the okay to go up and get service themselves. They're just hanging out there. That's a beaut. That's nice. Okay, let's stop admiring the engines and I'll get back to work. Uh, so we have to come over here now. It's on to track eight. This should be nine right here. Yeah, it's nine and ten. So we're going to go right here. I forget where the next two are going. We'll pull up the car tagger. But it's time to figure that out. Now I can hear the bell. Got to turn it off. 
Here he comes. Yes, this is my, like I said, my outgoing uh, train yard here. This is where we are uh, assembling the trains that have to leave the map. Now, that one did not shut it down. It didn't stop the train automatically. I don't know. Okay. So we're going to apply it here. Do that. And these are going to Raynell, and Raynell is track two. No, 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 no. Raynell is track seven. Yeah. Okay. So we've got to go to track seven, which is the other way. Why do I always go the wrong way first? And then I stare at it for a few seconds. <laughs> okay. So uh, track seven is where is where uh, Raynell, the outbound Raynell, West Virginia. Traffic's got to go to. So this is track seven right here. And it's just the last three in there. Three flat cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always nervous. I'm always looking over at my, uh, excuse me, my uh, screen recorder. Uh, because uh, I did a, a farming simulator video once where I talked through the whole thing only to find out I didn't have the mic set up right. <laughs> and then I had to go back to kind of record the uh, voice afterwards, which is not easy to do. Because, you know, I sometimes talk about some crazy stuff. So, yeah, I don't want that to happen again. It's only happened once. That is a challenge. All right, let's get these flat cars in place. And after those are the Clinton Forges. There's a bunch of them. And the Clinton Forges are on track six. How about that, huh? It's one more track over. There's a big old uh, hopper there full of uh, engine ash. Back these up here. This box car from New York City. New York City? It's from an old commercial, in case you don't know. Bon Salsa, actually. Kind of banging and ba booming. There we go. A little bit further than that. I'll stop it about right there. That's past the frog, right? Yep. Beautiful. And we will apply the handbrake. Oh, it said releasing handbrake. Why did it say that? Applying the handbrake. Okay, there we go. And now these are going to Clinton Forge, which is track, I said six, right? Yeah. Track six. Go. Track six, I believe, is this track right here, right? Yep, it is. Doing some shunting. Back in the 50s. There we go. This is like a caboose from here. That extra little high part in the middle, but that's just the car behind it. It's not a caboose. This one in the front, though, is a reefer. Pacific Fruit Express, eh? All right, where am I, what am I doing now? Oh, yeah. We've got a whole lot of these to shove onto this track. What do we got? One, two, three. 
Ten of them? Well, there's gonna be at ten. Oakley. There we go. Give it a little more throttle. And there's the frog we're going to clear. All of the Western Pacifics. All going to get pushed onto this track. The train becomes relatively short. Yep, we just passed the point. Actually, we passed it about a minute and a half ago as to where this is going to be a Thomas-only video. But we'll finish shunting before we uh, stop the video. Here in the Avis yard. All right, so uh, there we go. Lift and forage. Apply it. Go right here. Now, these next set. I have to go to Raynell, and Raynell was uh, track seven. There we go. So track seven now is right here. And how many have to go there? Just the last two. Just these last two boxcars. Well, I don't know why I keep turning it off. Leave it on, moron. Okay, and I'm going way too fast now. Perfect. Really, it's not. All right, so uh, track seven is right here. Stick those on here. Hey, what's going on? It's still going. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Now let's go forward. We really wanted to clear that last point. We really, really wanted. So these two are going to Rain L, which is track seven. And then the next one, which I believe is another boxcar, or is it a hopper? I think it's a hopper. I think it's a hopper. And that one is going to Beckley. Beckley is track, uh, track eight, which we already put something on track eight. That was the very first car we put out. That one there. Go now. Sliding away from where I want to be. Okay. Now it's telling me the train has no driver. No, it does. You just forgot. Uh, yeah, this one's going to be the wrong one now anyway. So these two New York City Centrals. Boy, this seems to be really heavy. Okay. Yep, move it to about right there. Right, right, right there. Stop. Apply the handbrake. I tried to emergency mute. I couldn't do it. But I did sneeze away from the mic. All right. So uh, then we're going to apply the handbrake. There we go. We're going to do that. And this one's going to Beckley, like I already said. 
Always the wrong way first. Banding. All right, so this one's going to Beckley. And as I said, Beckley is track eight. Just one track over. Beckley's right there. It's already set correctly. There we go. Can't stop it. And here we go forward. Very good. Okay, so put this one on Beckley. Then we've got one going to Clinton Forge, one going to Raynell, one going to Kurtzville, and then finally all the rest are going on into uh, Beckley. Come on, you can do it. No, no, no. All right, let's try that again. There we go. Stop it right there. And then we'll apply. Unhook. And Clifton Forge. Where we are off to next. Clifton Forge is uh, track six. That's going to be way over here. Clifton Forge is the only destination off map. Well, no, no, I'm going to change my mind here. But uh, Clifton Forge is the only place off map that's in Virginia. Everything else is in West Virginia, but that's not true. We also have what I'm calling the North Main Line. Uh, and uh, cars that are put on that one are going to many different places, like Pennsylvania, Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, New York. So that's why I call it. North Main. Places north. Here we go. All right, track six. Yep. All right, let's take this one on here. Boy, if you like shunting, you are just going to love this episode. Of course, most of my episodes are about shunting, are they not? Uh, I don't know. Let's talk more action. This is a nickel plate box car we're putting on here. Good old number one. Good old number one five four three three. Keep it going on. Don't shut down. Yeah, it's shut down. Not sure what I'm doing differently, or is it just the quirkiness of this program? It's causing it to shut down like that. Okay, stop that right there. We're going to apply... Decouple. Over here, we're going to apply it again. No. Oh. Uh oh, now I got myself in trouble. I can't apply the handbrake like that. It should sit. It should sit. It should be okay. Uh, so this one's going to rain out. No, 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 no. There we go. Go to rain out. There we go. Rainel is track seven.
this one right here. Oh, boy. Did that thing again now. I click on the switch, and suddenly it leaps me to something way in the background. There. I don't know if it was... I don't know. But now we're going too fast. I can't. I don't have the train. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Here we go here. Then to track seven. Go to rain out. Okay. We've only got a few cars left. I really want to get this done before I call it quits. And uh, we may hit the one hour mark. I could probably hit the one hour mark on this. But most of my videos, like I said, are usually in the 50 minute range anyway. So just a few extra minutes. You can cut out early if you want to. I won't. I won't hold it against you. If you cut out early, you can make it up to me by subscribing. That would be nice. Okay, Raynell. Here we go. Track seven. Yeah, of course, it's going to stop. Why not? I have a hard time pushing. Is there like a lot of cars in this line? I haven't checked it in a little bit. Oh, yeah. It's pretty long. It's got some tankers away at the end there, too. So I don't know if those are full or empty or what. Oh, they're right up here. They're empty. Tankers. Okay. Wait until it clears that frog. And there we go. Stop it. Apply. Very good. This one's going to Kurtzville, West Virginia, which is track five. Go. Track five for this one here. We're almost done now. Almost got it. Track six, track five. Too bad. Too bad that we're almost done. I'm having fun. Go. Now we'll move it forward. And then after we put this one on track five, all the rest of them are going to Beckley. That is all, of course, track eight. This is the one and only car on uh, uh, Kurtzville. There we go. There it is. Apply it right there. Break it off. It's always, always. All right. All right. Uh, so it's uh, Beckley. All the rest of them are Beckley, so I don't need to keep that up anymore. Oh. Uh, and then... Beckley is track eight. Not seven, but eight. There it is there. All right, track eight. And we'll be done with this episode, unfortunately.
Here we come. Slow it down here just a bit. There we go. Now we're going to push these on there. Oh, look at that. Those are Pier Marquette flat cars. I didn't know I had those in here. I thought I just had the C&O's and the uh, B&O's. Kind of cool. Alrighty. Yeah, well, I'm officially over an hour now. But we're just about done. Slow it down. A couple more stock cars all going to Beckley. Stop him right there. Very nice. Alrighty. And just to finish off here, we'll apply the handbrake. Discombobulate there, otherwise known as decouple. Back it up a little bit. There we go. All righty. So, let's get an overview now of how these tracks have filled up since I added those cars. Yeah, all these tracks right here. There's only one car on that car, one, one car on this track, I should say, and then one car on that track. But all these are starting to fill up now. Uh, and eventually when they get uh, enough cars in them, we'll, we'll ship them out. But this is the end of episode six from the uh, Chesapeake in Ohio, the CNO Hinton Division. Hope you had a good time. I had a good time. I always do when I play this game. Uh, it never ceases to bore me. It's always, it's always a lot of fun for me. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Hope you had uh, a good time. Uh, why don't you subscribe? Why not? Throw a few subscriptions at me and I can uh, keep going. But as I said before, even if you don't, I'm going to keep going anyway. So. I guess that's not much of an incentive. But anyway, so hope you have a good time. And if you don't like the fact that, uh, you know, I cheated that one time there when one car was phasing into the other instead of saying, who would derail or something like that, well, this may not be the channel for you. <laughs>